What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And what you're looking at is Hype Trigger. This is what I've been using to make AI cuts and find all of my best clips essentially in my streams. So as you know, most people stream for a couple hours at a time. Uh, my last stream, for example, was over four hours. And it is very, very time consuming to go through those and try and find your best clips. Um, just even scrolling through, you're going to miss some. You're not going to find all the wins. You're not going to find all the kills. Um, it's a lot of work to edit those videos and find those clips. So what I've been using, and you may have seen my older videos, is AI to get these results. And before, I would use things like sizzle.gg or or uh, eclipse.gg and use online AI tools to process the videos. And that works all right, but you do get the watermark. You do have to pay for the uh, enhanced processing. Um, it does, you know, it's not like completely free. So I thought I'd try something local. I've been looking for something local that can run on your computer and still use AI or machine learning to kind of determine where your best clips are. And I found that with Hype Trigger. So I went ahead and installed Hype Trigger and I ran a four and a half hour clip, four hours and 40 minutes um, through the uh, process with no changes at all. I did not change any of these settings here. We can see that we have different settings to, to detect kills, deaths, headshots, victory royales, knockdowns, and you can even add your own custom triggers if you uh, want to get into the more advanced stuff. And you can say whenever this piece of the screen changes and says season three, it'll detect it and mark it as a new season or whatever you want to detect on the screen. Um, I haven't gotten into editing those, but if you want me to make a video on those, um, I could do some more research and put together a video on how to make your own custom uh detection methods. But anyway, the way it works is you click on add video, you choose a video and you add it in, obviously. And then when you click on the video, you can choose what game is being played in it. So this one is Warzone 2. So I'm going to choose Warzone 2.0. And then you choose how many samples per second. You can choose uh, any number, but between two and five is what they recommend. You can see here, higher values are more accurate, but will take longer. Um, and so between two and five is good. So I switched mine to five. And then you can just click on find clips. And that's going to run a very slow process, but it's going to go through the entire video and mark down every single clip that um, it finds. In the right side, I've already done this video and I found 114 clips, which is a little bit uh, deceiving. It's not actually 114. I'll tell you why in, in a second. All the clips that it found are shown here in a marking. So I can click on one of these on a Victory Royale, for example, and it'll show you the beginning of the Victory Royale, the fight that led up to it. And I have mine set for 20 seconds before the Victory Royale. So it records 20 seconds before then. And then there's a clip. That's a victory royale where I killed someone trying to use that new overpowered sword. And uh, that's a pretty fun one, right? So that is saved as a clip automatically on the right-hand side. And you can scroll through all these and you can see it detected 114 events or 114 clips. Now, the reason I say that's a little bit deceptive is because there is a setting here that says combine clips within five seconds. So if you got four kills in a row and that's four different clips, that will combine it into one clip that's maybe 30 or 40 seconds long that shows you getting all four kills. And especially if it's leading up to like a victory royale, that can make a really fun um, montage. So this 114 clips, when you export, actually comes out to about maybe 40 or 60 clips. Let me actually go check. Sixty clips. So it made sixty different clips that include all of my kills, all of my wins, and it even includes um, knocks. So whenever I knock someone else, um, it'll include that clip as well. So it'll show knocks before kills, and then combine those together. So it'll show a knock and a kill together. Um, that's a pretty useful one as well. Um, if you want to adjust it, like say anytime I get a win, I don't want it to just give me thirty seconds beforehand. I want it to give me like five minutes beforehand because I want that whole clip. I want to watch the whole match. Um, instead of changing, instead of recording 20 seconds here, you can change this to any number you want. So you can put like 120 and that'll be two minutes. So it'll record two minutes before your win and turn that into its own clip. So um, that's how you can make some of those edits there to make that a little bit easier. And then you just hit save clips 
and it'll save all of your clips into a folder so you can just toss them together in your montages add music and do whatever you want with them super super useful i love this program and uh let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see me do if you want me to cover um any more usage types configuration stuff adding more types of detection methods or if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below thank you so much for watching hope you like this one and have a good day peace Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, uh.